So think about it. I mean, the top 4% of cancer centers in the country is where we are today. That's pretty cool. Right. It's pretty awesome. good. Awesome. Yes. It is. It is awesome. It's because of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Dr. Johnson, Dr. Edge, tell us a little bit about what we announced today and what it means. So, U.S. News and World Report ranks cancer centers around the country. There's over 900 of them nationwide, and they're ranked on a whole variety of criteria. It's just not one thing. It uh, has to do with quality and uh, the innovation that you have, whether you're an NCI-designated center, uh, the, all the metrics associated with uh, cancer care. And when you add all those up, we were number 33 out of 900 cancer centers. It's a, it's a remarkable achievement. Yeah, well, the America, America has some of the greatest cancer programs in the world. And um, in our region and around the entire state, Roswell Park has always stood out. We're known internationally. If you go to Europe or Asia, people know about Roswell Park because of the accomplishments of the science and the accomplishments for treating patients that we've had literally for generations here since Roswell Park founded us in, what, 1898, I yes, think it was. I yes, I believe so. Yes. So tell years. us a little bit about who we can thank for this ranking and part of that, why it was important to announce it to third shift nurses today. So it's really, it's the, it, this goes to the heart and soul of who Roswell Park is because it's the nursing staff, it's the physicians, it's the people uh, in the trenches, the people that keep the rooms uh, spotlessly clean, it's everyone that uh, can take credit for this award. Uh, we are a family, uh, it's the Roswell way, and without them it wouldn't be possible. Well, you know, you go around the country to other cancer centers and other medical centers, and you listen to the staff, and you listen to the patients, and you, you listen to the faculty, and they do not have the atmosphere and the culture that we have here at Roswell Park. That doesn't mean we're perfect. Everybody has room to improve all the time. But uh, the culture here of patient care, of the dedicated staff who want to work at a cancer center uh, is truly remarkable. And, and all of us see that when we go around the country. Most definitely. <clears throat> Can you explain to me what quality cancer care means? And Dr. Edge, what is your role in that? Well, we here, as, as I just mentioned, everyone always has opportunity to improve. In fact, if you're not always looking to improve, you're going to get worse. Um, so, like everyone, we keep uh, uh, active programs to evaluate how we treat patients, how, what their experience is, how we can improve the coordination of the care that they receive, um, and in addition, of course, we stay right on the cutting edge of new therapies. Uh, there was a drug just recently approved yes. by one of, our, one of our neurosurgeons here, Dr. Fenstermacher, just had a drug approved uh, to, treat, uh, to treat brain cancers uh, just in the last week. Yes. Uh, and that's just one example of the kind of advances that come out of our scientists in addition to the clinical care that we provide to people with cancer today. Great, thank you. So what does it mean, you mentioned a few minutes ago, that Rousel Park is NCI designated? What exactly does that mean for patients? So uh, the NCI has, uh, they have a criteria where they review cancer centers uh, for, on their excellence, their depth and breadth of clinical care, scientific excellence, and population science. And population science is epidemiology and, and community outreach and so forth. And so those three things are evaluated. They send, you, you put a, an application in that's about this thick, and uh, a site visit team of 25 people from around the country come and review you. And they critique you on all those items, and you get scored. And uh, it's very difficult um, to get NCI designated but we've been NCI designated since they started giving out the designation and we're just coming up for renewal again next year. So it's a very important thing and what it tells to patients is this is a place where there's cutting edge therapies available where they're gonna give me the very best care uh, and you can be guaranteed of that whether you go to this NCI designated center or one in New York City. Uh, that's why it's so important. It's right in our backyard. We have this incredible facility right in our backyard with these incredible nurses that are standing in front of me. So uh, we're a great place. Great. So you mentioned New York City. Can yes. you talk a little to where Roswell Park stands on this U.S. News and World Report list and how that compares to others in maybe the region or the area? Well, um, uh, there are, I think, two other centers in New York City who yes. are on, on this list. But outside of New York City and New York State, we're the only ones who are on this list. As, 
Uh, and that's, that goes along with our designation by the National Cancer Institute, which makes us a resource to the entire upstate community, uh, extending into Pennsylvania, Ohio, and of course we have uh, relationships extending into Ontario for yes, services that, that we provide uh, for uh, people who live in the, in the nearby regions of Ontario. So um, there are excellent centers in New York City, uh, but outside New York City, um, uh, through this ranking, we're, we're really, we are now the only ones in New York State other than, other than um, Memorial Sloan Kettering, of course, yes. and, uh, and I'm blocking on who the Columbia yes. is the other, the other site in New York City. It's exciting. It's very, very exciting. exciting. So and there are other cancer centers in New York City. They're just not uh, on mm -hmm. U.S. News. So it's, a very, it's very distinguishing that we made this list. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. So if you can put yourself in someone's shoes when you're diagnosed with cancer, it's very scary. There's a lot of numbers, there's a lot of information out there. What do you, what's your advice on how they should kind of start that search and what metrics they should look at? Well, when somebody gets diagnosed with cancer, as you said, it's very stressful and the, the, the knee-jerk reaction is to do something now. Um, but their people are better off stepping back, taking a deep breath, and really assessing what they're doing. There are very few situations with cancer that are a true, oh my gosh, I must be treated today emergency. And it's better to make sure you get careful evaluation of your situation. Frequently that means getting a second opinion. Uh, we talk about coming and spending a day here uh, just to get that second opinion, even if you choose because of distance or other reasons that you're going to be treated elsewhere. Uh, I know I saw that with a relative of mine 15 years ago in Los Angeles who was clearly going down the wrong path. And the insurance companies are very tight in Los Angeles and they allowed her one visit at a cancer center but that one visit at UCLA completely changed the ship, and I'm pleased to say that she's alive and well uh, right now in Los Angeles from what was a very bad breast cancer. Wonderful, that's great to hear. Mm -hmm. So we have two other um, things kind of rank on this list, urology and lung cancer surgery. Mm -hmm. What did we find out about them? Well, um, we have many excellent services across the board, but the U.S. News uh, will um, rank some of those as a high performing in a certain specialty based on some of the data they that they are able to look at and the urology service here and the lung cancer service here are two of our very busy services. Um, we actually have both in the medical oncology or the uh, treatment with drug aspect of cancer and in surgery and in radiation we have some really forward-thinking people in America right here uh, in Western New York. The urology team with uh, under Dr. Moeller and Dr. Guru uh, working with um, uh, robotic uh, prostatectomy were some of the pioneers now with robotic uh, bladder removal or some of the great pioneers, not only treating people here, but establishing uh, standards around the world uh, to, to treat them. Dr. Moeller, for instance, is the chair of the National Guideline Panel on Prostate Cancer. Dr. Guru has established a, a bladder cancer a, a program that's being used around the world right now. Uh, similarly, in our medical group in neurology, we have uh, people who are some of the forward-thinking people in new drugs that, that will uh, develop Dr. Chada and his group in the Department of Medicine. Uh, similarly, in radiation oncology under Dr. Kettle. Uh, so all across the board in that disease. Similarly, in lung cancer, we have, we have teams of excellence. Now we have teams of excellence across other diseases. Uh, those are two of our very busiest services, and they achieve this specific distinction in the U.S. News and World Report this year. So today's an exciting day, but on a day-to-day -day basis, why do you love what you do, and what gets you both out of bed in the morning? Oh my goodness, I, this, is, this is such an incredible place. I'm so honored to be the leader of this institution. Every day, I can hardly, I, I'm in, uh, I, I, I come into work and I can hardly, hardly believe that this is my, actually my job. I actually get to do this. And so I'm proud to be here. I'm very proud today. I'm proud of everybody at Roswell Park and what they do. And this is a day, uh, you know, we were talking about this. You rarely have days anywhere in your life that are, are true celebratory days. You know, we all have life that, that creeps in to what we do. This is a day of celebration, and we're going to enjoy it. Well, I mean, what makes I think most of us come here is the work that we do knowing that we're having a difference on patients today. I mean, the people, who are, you know, it's 6 in the morning, so the patients aren't, aren't up very much right now. But, and we've got most of the doors closed, so we're not waking them up, I hope. But um, uh, when you see the patients who come through here and get better, and I think the nurses can speak to this as well, when they see their patients um, who have surgery who get better and walk out of the hospital after a devastating diagnosis, um, that, that's what really thrills us. And the, knowing that the work we're doing will not just help the patients today, but the work we're doing will help the patients tomorrow, our children and their children, so that we really change the face of cancer in our society. And it's really happening now. It is. 
very exciting. Mm -hmm. So what do you think the Roswell Park culture is and how does that contribute to this quality care we've been talking mm -hmm. about? Well, you know, if you could bottle the Roswell way, uh, every place would want it. Uh, I think what it is, you, you know, it's the, um, it's the nurse that goes the extra step of kindness. It's the uh, person that uh, cleans the room, that uh, has a conversation with the patient and actually probably interacts with them more than anyone else. It's that, it's that people going that extra step. That's the Roswell way. Uh, I hope when you get on the elevator here, people say good morning to you and people smile. Um, that's the Roswell way. We're here for our patients. They're the center of our universe and that's the Roswell way. People walk through a door and of course right over the door it says Roswell Park Cancer Institute and of course it's very daunting yeah. when they walk through the door. But then they walk through the door and see the people who are here and they realize that this is um, something that they can work through that you know not not everybody has a good outcome of course uh, cancer can be a devastating disease but they see people who will help them through it who won't treat them any other way other than a real person uh, whatever their whatever their manifestation of cancer and, and outwardly appearance and how sick they are it's really quite a remarkable atmosphere here that's great so we're going to close but we might have some people that just tuned in so can you tell us again what we announced today and what it means for patients so today U.S. News and World Report ranked Roswell Park Cancer Institute number 33 out of 900 hospitals nationwide for cancer care. An incredible accomplishment. It's all because of the workers here that, and the staff and the physicians. Um, so it's a great, great day for us. Great. Anything else you guys want to add? We're excited. Awesome. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.